So this is after the modification. After we did that, just, okay. And here's the result. See if I can zoom in. It's with a silencer, amper on, no extension. So you can get good lighting. Single shot, semi, full auto. Okay. Full auto works. Okay, so we're going to try to shoot from outside. It's fairly quiet, too. We're going to listen to it while we're outside. Go again. Okay, it's very quiet. About half of a sound was before. Okay, so this is what I did with the portal type. 40 millimeter adapter from Donnie. Let me unstrap this. The large one matched the factory with the correct spring back. Okay. And also the adapter, the large end cap for the 40 millimeter on the Emperor. Um, not sure many of you remember what happened last time when I accidentally, I'm doing this with one hand. See if I can do it. Um, I push this open. Okay. So I, what I decided to do this time is let me get a camera stand. Okay, regroup, rearrange the table a little bit. So I push this open from the back here, and I got it open. And I decided to pull it out this morning just to investigate more. And this is what I did. Okay. Um, before we noticed the from the previous video. Um, that has some blades in full auto have a lot of air that can't get out causing the air um, the barrel choke on itself so this time I this is a three hundred two three hundred dollar uh, silencer I decide to fix it or you no know, based on my engineering skill I think what happened is let me go and draw this diagram and I decided to risk this expensive silencer and hopefully it works so if we put this down let's go ahead and trace the silencer out okay so this end cap end cap where it goes in and the gun barrel on this end okay so the factory has the 14 millimeter hole. Okay, the previous piece, the reason why it didn't work in full auto is because this was in nine millimeter. It was a nine millimeter hole. And we did many tests. It just keep looks like no matter what we do, when we with go back with a bigger hole or the factory one, it will fire full auto by itself. Smaller hole won't. So, I think it's an air issue. And 
Donnie's silencer basically work this way. Um, the bullet gonna travel through this tube and comes out here. And he have a lot of baffles in here. And as the air travels, the sound will be bounced off, bounced off into a softer material. As many silencer does, basically. Bounce off the with a softer material on the outside core, which is this piece. It's a wire mesh, inside there's a fibrix. Okay? And if you look carefully in there, I'm sure you can see it, there's a baffle. It's really hard. Grab it. You see there's a baffle? Let me see, can get, you see a baffle right there? The smaller baffle hole is basically the same diameter as the 3 millimeter. There's a bunch of this inside of, the, in, inside of this to bounce the sound off. So, if the air could not escape fast enough, I believe what Hassan did is in the barrel, the reason why they use a large uh, 14 millimeter is when during full auto, we're only talking about full auto right now, the air need to escape out. Instead of a single shot, air escape. Now you need to dump a lot of air, 21 times, or however many times you fire for auto. So the air need to come out quickly. Okay, and then there's a lot of air instead of just one shot. Let's say this amount of air. Now we're talking about this amount of air need to come out less than a second. Less than one second. Okay, so I have decided to try to match the end as much um, air that comes out of here. So the first thing I did is the holes around the center hole Donnie has is fairly tiny. So I went ahead and did with a larger larger drill and go ahead and matches the larger drill. This drill this drill bit is about just a little smaller. If you can see, just a little smaller than the actual piece right here. Okay, and but this middle part, the middle part of this hole is still a nine millimeter hole which chokes and the way he had it is when the air when it when a bullet goes in the, the in the barrel right here the end of barrel goes in um he has he has a baffle and this the air will expand out into the outer shell core it's a very tight tolerance between the mesh and this and the hole here is fairly tiny so we drill we drill the hole a little bigger i drill the hole a little bigger to let the air out escape with a tiny hole in the front okay so um, that will help the air to escape. And also, this is a combination of things I did to let it fire full auto. Um, and I realized because when it comes out of the barrel, there's so much air need to get out quickly, fast. So I decide if I screw this back in, you should be able to see. You should be able to see where I position this bigger hose through the mesh. Actually, punching four holes. There's there's ribbits, uh, ribs of steel or aluminum coming through here. But I basically, where the barrel comes out, I allow as much air to escape into this chamber between the outer shell and the mesh. As much air come out, and they will funnel through, fun funnel through all this tiny hole. Which, when sound bounces, it's gonna be dampened throughout this entire mesh. So between this 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 cribbit, uh, this uh, layer right here. It's actually very quiet you know, with a tiny hole. But what it does is allow as much air comes out and be able to exit the, the front without having to go through the same front hole right here. Okay. So basically, what happened is when the air comes out here, I let it escape quickly into this chamber, the distance between where I draw black. Okay. This is the layer, and I let it escape into this layer of the silencer very quickly okay and comes out of the tiny hole here okay and as big as I can make it you can make it bigger too it might work even better so the air pressure we want to relieve as much air pressure as possible oh, uh, 2s relieve as much air pressure as possible release okay but the sound still be damping throughout the baffles Donnie has its own silencer throughout this whole thing so the sound still traveling forward any sound trap between this, the outer shell and the mesh will be dampened fairly quickly by this entire mesh. And the only way the sound can get out is this tiny hole right here. So we're not really expecting too much sound coming out of the tiny hole. Okay? Alright. So that's one thing I did. Also with the, with the larger in, uh, tip which matches the factory. The second one is 
I haven't tested all together to see which one actually works out better. The second one is I make this three nine millimeter hole bigger. Not like not that much bigger, just a slightly bigger. Okay. Um, so this is the tool I was using. This is the tool I was using. Let's go ahead and do a small comparison. Okay, this is the factory hole, so it should probably land around on the 16. I think what is it? Uh, 916. So it's a 916 hole. Okay, and this was a 9 millimeter hole, which is in comparison. Okay, so. I, I didn't I didn't try it out see if just enlarge this will help without enlarge this I was in a row uh, I should have stopped and test out if this will actually make a fire for auto but I was in the drill the whole thing so I decided to just do, do it all together so this time I went ahead and did a nice 16 hole in the front okay the exact same hole size nice 16 hole so this hole right now matches this hole slightly smaller because uh, if you can see the edge the very inside edge has a little bevel into it just sl smaller, slightly smaller than this, but I was hoping the rest will make up the difference to compensate to make almost slightly bigger than this hole right here. So the amount of air escaped out in the front, it's the same amount of air we plug into from the back of this silencer. Okay, but I want to divert as much air out quickly, have a relief of pressure, allow the full auto to recock. Instead, have the recock right here to make this big enough. So right here, the air volume gets very big, without no restrictions, without restrictions. That's my theory. Okay, maybe right here can allow the back pressure to recock here, but I feel it's such an importance every time we put a factory barrel back in, this thing will just fire full auto. So I decided to do this just as a pressure release thing and allow this piece to take out as much pressure out of the front barrel as possible and allow this thing to fire full auto. Now I can fire full auto with, let me go ahead and put this back in. Now I can fire full auto with the Emperor with a large hole in the middle. Okay, slightly smaller than this, but with this tool, after I drilled it out, it's uh, what, 9 16 Okay, 9 16 exactly like that. And this is right about 9 16 too. Okay, with the additional blowhole around and a match that allowed the air to expand, exit the front. Let me flip it around, exit the front of the, the barrel. And first try, we, I put this back on the gun, it fired full auto with no hesitancy. So I believe this alone will allow any Hassan Blitz to fire full auto as long as there's enough air, as long as we use this tip and have enough air to come out. And the noise is night and day difference. Inside a small room like this, um, the cocking for the hammer is loud. But when it's outside, the noise is basically like a quarter. To a fifth of the whatever sound it was when you're standing outside um, so it's very quiet this is what i try to achieve it's not as quiet as a single shot so what i can still do because i still i do have the i still have the nine millimeter hole right here which i can still put it back on i can still put it back on the front and attach attach the extension emperor extension which is still nine millimeter and attach it back in here Okay, this this piece right here, let me zoom out and take the camera out. I have to say, uh, I never tested it, put on video, but I will tell you, with a 9mm hole, single shot, uh, right here, 9mm hole, single shot, by itself. Let me screw this back in. Okay, with the extension, 6 inch extension and the 10 inch in the front, the 16 inch silencer this can only fire in a semi auto. Semi means one shot at a time uh, with a smaller hole because we will. The only adapter I have it currently is just a smaller, smaller piece, the 9mm one. This is super, super quiet. When you're standing outside, you can barely hear this, just a little psh, psh. Okay. But now I have the larger attachment which I can fire full auto with just the Emperor, which I'm very happy with. It is still very quiet. But allow me to fire full auto or semi auto if I need it and will not allow to make the neighbor hate me just this piece okay so that's how I fix or improve I guess um, on the sensor allow it to fire full auto 
the conclusion is the air need to escape. It's not a spring. After all the test, it never was about the spring. No matter how what I do with the spring, it doesn't do anything. It's the air. The air need to escape the blitz fast enough, as fast as the factory tip, as fast as a factory tip at 40 millimeter. So the silencer need to be able to let this amount of air dump out at once out the front, or somehow just unload it, allow the cocky mechanism to well, to go back and forth really quick. Okay, there's a lot of air need to get out. So silencer is basically suppress the air. Now we need to dump the air in a fast speed. We lose some noise and sound cancellation, I believe just by a little bit. But this will work out as a full auto silencer suppressor. You can say silencer because it's not silent, but it's suppressing for fully automatic Hassan Blitz. It will cut the noise down 50, 60 percent when you're standing outside in comparison inside in the indoor, what I just showed. Okay. Thanks for watching, and this is my fix. Hopefully, um, I'm not sure Donnie will make this change and sell it to you guys, but I think I just solved the issue. It's the air pressure, the air need to get out. By doing the simple thing like this, it fires full auto every time. Thanks for watching. Enjoy. Bye-bye. Also, a tip. Sometimes this piece uh, attached to the end cap, it's hard to take off, so I put a washer, not a washer, um, an o-ring in between, so give me some space. Allow me to use this clamp. Let me put on the back on the tripod again. Allow me to grab this, have enough spacing to grab this without damage the threads and turn, and turn this off, okay? But sometimes this is so tight together, you can either use a vise to hold it with a rubber piece on the, here and you untwist this. Or, I found another tool, because it requires very large uh, wrench, which there's nowhere to sell it as big as this. Uh, even I went to uh, Harbor Freight's Ace Hardware Home Depot, nowhere to do And the, the, the oil change, uh, oil filter, plumbing, rubber belt thing, it doesn't work. It's bullshit. It doesn't work. So, because it's so thin, there's nothing to grab onto. But I found this. This is a plumbing wrench. It's $15 in Lowe's. And you can adjust it to exact knob. Where you see that, that knob right here. And you adjust to it, and you lock this in, and you twist it. And it's thin enough, will not damage this. So between this, holding onto it, and this, you're able to split this two apart. That's a pro tip. Take me forever to figure out a, a tool I can take this apart. Now I can. You scratch a little bit, tiny little bit, but uh, I really don't care. I can use the black paint or marker to to go over it. But I need to sometimes I need to get this thing off. So that's my pro tip. If you guys are looking to how to take this thing off, the end caps, see how I screw up this whole thing. But I'd rather scratch it than not be able to take this thing off. Which this is the tool. You need this. So plumbing, in the plumbing section, okay, so in the plumbing section, in the 10 inch, and this is very cheap in comparison to everything else. You can get an actual wrench to match this, it's 30 to $40. But this is adjustable, so you can use it for anything else in the house if you needed to. Okay. Thanks for watching again. Cheers. Have fun shooting.